Hey everyone, my name is Jason. I'm a community manager at Coffee Stain Studios and Update 8 is out now on Experimental. Thank you everyone who joined for the stream on Tuesday. It was really, really fun. And it's been super cool seeing people playing Update 8, finally getting out to you guys on the Experimental branch. And now while the launch was you know, relatively smooth, there are some bugs that have been reported, as well as FPS issues that people have been talking about as well. We are running into some of this stuff and we are checking the QA site. Uh, but today, what I wanna talk about is just some of the things that we've seen and also provide some troubleshooting tips for like, yes, we are looking at like the things that you've reported and we're investigating certain things, but also there's some things that you can try as well. And then in doing those things, you'll actually be helping us as well. So it's a symbiotic relationship here. We're working together, team. Okay, so hopefully that'll be helpful. And also at the end of the video, I'm gonna be talking about the updated uh, hardware requirements. We talked about that back in the Unreal Engine 5 video a few weeks back. Um, it's the same, but we're going to expand on it a little bit more. So hopefully that the requirements make a little bit more sense or more meaningful and set expectations correctly. Okay, so if you're interested in that, stay to the end of the video and we'll talk about that then. But quickly, two things. First thing, wiki, all right? We got a new wiki, satisfactory.wiki.gg. So the people who've been contributing to our wiki and making it as amazing as it was before want to move to a different platform and we're just supporting them in doing that, okay? So if you want all your wiki stuff and new update eight information and things like that, go to satisfactory.wiki.gg and uh, check out the new wiki. Hopefully you like it. Second thing, back up your saves. Okay, moving on. So first things first, you might be wondering, maybe you're new here and you're like, what the hell is experimental? Okay, what is experimental branch? The experimental branch is our pre-release branch and that's where we release any of our major changes or even not so major changes first so that people who uh, you know are dare to fly close to the sun uh, can, can play the features early and uh, test things out, give us feedback. We can fix things, stabilize things, and then we move things over to the early access branch. And now everyone uh, who owns Satisfactory has access to the experimental branch, whether you're on Epic or on Steam. In Epic, it's accessible by uh, simply just going to your library and you'll have two versions of Satisfactory. One will be Satisfactory Early Access and one will be Satisfactory Experimental. Install and play the experimental version and you're on Experimental. On Steam, you need to find Satisfactory in your library. Right click on it, go to Properties, go to Betas, and then there'll be a drop down box. And from that drop down box, you'll be able to choose Experimental. And that's how you opt into Experimental. You switch it back to the empty line to go back to the normal version of Satisfactory. But most importantly is that you should back up your saves because saves are not compatible from like a, a newer version of the game going back. So if you run into any issues and you wanna revert back, you may not be able to load your saves in the old version, right? In the early access version of the game. Uh, not only that, but sometimes cloud saves do strange things that no one can ever predict. So back up your saves whenever you mess around with this stuff. In the description below, there'll be a path to where the save files are, okay? But experimental, as it says on the tin, is indeed experimental, you know? And oftentimes there are some growing pains uh, when it comes to playing on the experimental branch. Uh, and this is no different this week, all right? There have absolutely been some issues that people have run into um, and that they have reported on our QA site. QA site is questions.satisfactory.com and you can let us know any bugs or feedback that you have, you can, you can put it there. And just bear in mind that like, I'm actually recording this on Thursday. So you're watching this on Friday. This is recorded a day early. And uh, whilst the team is constantly checking the QA site and we're checking socials and things like that as well to get an understanding of like what kind of experience people are having with update eight, um, anything could have changed between yesterday, which is today for me, Thursday and Friday, okay? So I'm, you know, everything I'm talking about here is relevant to Thursday. All right, so let's talk about some of the bugs that you guys have reported. Uh, people have reported that train tracks uh, are rotated. Train tracks that have been built with blueprints are just rotated for some random reason. Um, this is a purely graphical bug. They actually continue to function normally. And uh, I don't think this has been patched in yet, but the team will fix it. Another bug that people have been talking about have been uh, the inability to slide underneath belts, specifically Mark three, four, and five belts. This has actually been, uh, we put a patch out last night actually, and I believe this was fixed in that patch. So anyone playing as of today, Thursday, the patch went out Wednesday night. Um, this should not be a problem anymore. We also had people reporting missing water. Graphically, the water was missing. You could still swim, but you couldn't see the water. That has also been fixed and patched with last night's fix, apparently. Uh, allegedly, let us know. Uh, also some uh, collision issues in the Southern forest, I think with trees, they had like massive collision boxes on them. Uh, I believe that has also been patched as well. Another issue people have been reporting have been like fart rocks after you destroy them, their gas clouds remain. It's like, well, what's the point of destroying them then? Uh, well, this bug uh, doesn't happen for all the fart rocks. It happens to some of them. And also that gas cloud is just a visual bug. So the, the gas is visually there, but you can walk through it safely and uh, functionally within the game, it's not there, but we'll be looking into it. And there are absolutely more things too. 
I just want to let you guys know that we are checking the the, the, the website and the QA site, and uh, people are working really hard to fix what they can. And um, and then as I've mentioned earlier before as well, uh, we're going to be patching over the next couple weeks as we can. But then we have a vacation period, so there'll be a period where there'll be like no patches for a while. Uh, but then after that, we'll continue patching again. So if you see that nothing's been done for a few weeks, even though there are bugs in the game. It's just because it's the vacation period and we will be picking it up again immediately afterwards, okay? Keep your bug reports coming in and we'll go we'll go through it afterwards, okay? Now, there are two other issues that I actually want to focus on, focus this video on today because I think it's, uh, I can do the most to help people in this video when it comes to these two issues here. And those are poor FPS or stuttering, um, constant stuttering when playing the game. Uh, and then also a graphics card related crash. Um, and the one that I'm talking about specifically is a D3D util.cpp. Um, current cube dot device get device get device removed reason uh, that is in the error message that if you get this crash you'll get the crash reporter and you'll see that um, so first of all let's talk about the graphics card real quick uh, first of all from what we can see from our information uh, um, in, in the back end from the crash reports that you guys send in uh, is that this it, this crash tends to only affect or seems to mostly affect uh, higher end cards we're talking uh, a lot of 3070s 3080s uh, 3080 Ti's, 3080 on laptops, 3090 Ti's, and RX 6700s. Um, and the tricky thing with this is, uh, this is something that we can't really do too much about at the moment. Maybe driver updates in the future will help. Maybe there's more things we can do that, and we're investigating. The team does have some ideas of some things, but for the moment, I don't think there's anything we can do immediately uh, to solve this issue. And it is happening, f happening fairly common to people who have these cards, unfortunately. However, there are some things that you can do, and so I'm gonna let you guys know so you can do what you can, and hopefully it helps. If it doesn't help, let us know on the QA site. Uh, the first thing is update your drivers. We're using Unreal Engine 5 now. This is like cutting edge stuff. So it's really important that whatever graphics card that you're using, you are running the most up-to-date drivers that you can get. Um, it's very important and it makes a really, really big difference. And that is the first step if you're having these issues. Check your drivers, make sure they're up to date. Uh, another thing you can do is if you're using an NVIDIA card, um, you can try switching to the studio ready drivers uh, instead of the game ready drivers. And uh, we've actually seen that the studio ready drivers, for whatever reason, seem to not have this crash. <laughs> uh, or as often. So you could try that as well. If you try it and you still get it, let us know on the QA side. We would love that information. Well, we would prefer you let us know that it works, but if it doesn't work, please let us know so we can, so we know. Another thing you can try and do is switch to the Vulkan graphics API. So by default, the game runs on the DirectX 12 graphics API, but we also support Vulkan, so you can try and switch to that. Uh, but please note that if you switch graphics APIs and the game crashes, and then the game no longer starts up because it tries to load the graphics API that it can't support and it keeps crashing, uh, there are solutions for this. And the two solutions are that you find your game user settings uh, .ini file and you delete it. I'll put a location for that file in the description below. And when you do that, the next time you start the game, the game will restart with default game uh, user settings, basically, uh, including reverting back to DirectX 12, and then you should be able to start the game up. Another way you can do this is you can actually force graphics APIs using launch commands. It's dash DX12 for DirectX 12, it's dash Vulkan for Vulkan, and dash uh, DX11 for DirectX 11, uh, but we're deprecating DirectX 11. It is technically supported. I'll talk about that a little bit later. And if you don't know how to use launch commands, more information down below how to do that. Another thing that we've noticed with this crash is that uh, sometimes if you have a stock overclocked uh, GPU, uh, then actually disabling the stock overclocking can help as well. Uh, so if you have that, consider trying that uh, and seeing if it helps. And if it does or doesn't, let us know. The next major thing I wanted to talk about is the low FPS that some people are getting, as well as the constant stuttering that some people are getting in the game. And it is clear based on the feedback that we've gotten from people that there are some people out there who are getting a lot of negative effects when it comes to uh, their performance with update eight compared to update seven. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna talk a little bit about various video settings and some solutions that you might be able to do uh, to mitigate some of these issues. And one, so that you're more aware of what options you have and what you can tweak so that you can hopefully get the performance that you want. But also number two is so that when you guys let us know that you're having FPS issues, it'd be great, super good, if you can include information about like what settings you have now, maybe, if you can test again on update seven on the early access branch, tell us like what settings did you use there? What settings did you use in update eight? What different, you know, are there any differences between those settings and, and how that affects your, your FPS? And the reason why this information is super, super um, useful for us is that like 
Some people are saying that they get less FPS, but we're not sure if your settings are actually the same. And this is made more confusing because uh, some people say, well, I played on Ultra on Update 7, and I'm playing on Ultra on Update 8, and I'm getting half the FPS, right? So it's the same settings, but it's not actually the same settings. Because in Update 8, there are new video settings and technologies in, and actually when you use Ultra, uh, the Ultra quality preset, uh, that automatically turns on TSR, which is an anti-aliasing technology, um, which is a, like a noteworthy load on your on your hardware. And so if you have TSR on, on Update 8 and not on Update 7, they're not apples to apples comparisons. Um, so this makes it really tricky for us to understand, okay, wait, people are getting less FPS, but is it because of everything or is it because of some differences in their settings? So if you guys could please check really closely what settings you use when you give us this feedback, it will help us tremendously. Not only that, we also have the global illumination or lumen uh, as it's called option in the game as well. Uh, and this is something that we know that some people have turned on and got less performance and are like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? No, no performance with uh, Lumen. Uh, but the thing is with Lumen is this is actually a setting that uh, we have said multiple times before that we are not officially supporting. We're having it in the game so people can just turn it on and play around with it, maybe take some screenshots. Or if it works for you, then you can play with it, right? Um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna optimize for it and we're not gonna tune our lighting in the game uh, for it, basically. This is something that we're not committing to, but we just want to leave it in the game so that you guys can just play around with it. Having said that, though, this information is not clear in the game, or it wasn't in the game, clear in the game, as of recording this video. Um, but I believe that this will be updated a little bit so that it's more clear that um, that it's, you know, an experimental thing or that we're not committing to it or you're, you're going to get low performance, basically. Uh, another thing that we've done is we've stripped out the cinematic quality setting for uh, global illumination as well. And the reason for this is essentially that the quality gain from the highest setting previously uh, to cin cinematic is actually negligible, but the um, the load on the, the hardware is tremendous. And for some people, it's so tremendous that it's like the menu slows down so much that it's hard to turn off. And we think that that's just not good for anyone. We're just gonna get rid of it for now, okay? Okay, so let's talk about specific issues and specific troubleshooting things you can do. I'm, I may re be repeating some things that I've said before, but I, I want this all in one one chunk if we can, okay? So let's just go over the troubleshooting things, just things you can try. A little checklist, if you will, okay? If you're having issues, run through this part of the video, okay? The first thing, update your graphics drivers. Make sure that is up to date. It's really important, okay? Second thing, make sure you verify your game files, okay? And you can do this on Epic or on Steam. And this basically is a process that makes sure that the files that were downloaded are indeed correct and there's no corrupt files or anything like that. On Epic, you just find the game in your in your library. There's three dots underneath the banner or the whatever, the uh, icon of the game. Uh, and then you can choose verify. And on Steam, you can uh, right click on the game in your library, go to properties, go to local files, and then click verify integrity of game files. So make sure you verify your, your game files. The next thing, if you're getting low FPS, um, is to disable TSR anti-aliasing and use FXAA or TAA instead. So previously in Update 7, we only used TAA uh, in Update 7, but now we've added FXAA, which is a more efficient anti-aliasing, and TSR, which is, uh, I mean, it, it is and it isn't. It's it's a double-edged sword, okay? So for some people, it's it's gonna it's gonna tank your 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 stuff, your your FPS, but for other people, it actually may be beneficial, okay? So so if you're um, having low FPS and you're on TSR anti-aliasing, try and turn it off, try switch to the other ones and see if you get anything better. Especially, especially if you're finding yourself getting stuck at two FPS and the game does not recover until you restart the game. This is usually from a VRAM, you running out of VRAM and then like the game right now cannot re recover from that for whatever reason, something we can look into. Um, but if that's happening, if you're running out of VRAM and you can check if you're running out of VRAM by checking your task manager and checking your GPU, um, then I would highly recommend making sure that TSR and global illumination are off just to make sure that like you're giving yourself your, your GPU as much VRAM to work with as possible. Another thing you can do to make sure that you're giving your GPU as much VRAM as possible is to check to see if you have any other applications open that might be taking some VRAM. Because Unreal Engine 5 is so VRAM sort of like heavy and really sort of requires it, any sort of like extra amount that you can free up while playing Satisfactory will go a long way for you. But of course, we're gonna be looking into what we can do as well to optimize that and make that better as well. But there's there's some stuff you can do too. Next thing is that if you do wanna use TSR anti-aliasing, try and run it in performance mode, which is a 60% screen size. So it, it's just like an upscaling thing, right? So if you set it to 60% screen size, 
this will be a more performant version of it uh, and that might work a little better. And, and then also uh, currently at the time of recording, or oh, this might have been updated actually, we previously had an insanity preset for TSR, which is essentially just the anti-aliasing and no upscaling. Um, and this is, this really, really reduces performance. We've changed, I think we've, I think we've changed the wording now um, so that it doesn't say insanity anymore because some people were confused. Like, does insanity mean like insane performance gains or is it insane quality and low performance? And we've made that a little bit clearer now as well. So the next thing you can do is you can turn off global illumination or lumen. It's global illumination uh, in, in the video settings. And this is off by default, but maybe you've turned it on. Not only that, there are tr uh, quality settings. So you can try and just reduce the quality and maybe that'll help, but, or you can just turn it off entirely to make sure um, you know, you're you're running as lean as you can. And then as I said earlier, it's important to note that we're not officially supporting Lumen, okay? We're just in the game for you to play around with, but we, we will not, we're not committing to making it performant uh, and we're not committing to tweaking the lighting of the game to make sure everything looks good in Lumen. It's just there to have fun with if you can run it. The next thing you can do is just switch to lower video presets in general. We have some like quality presets for, you know, shadows and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can always just try lower those. You can also custom tweak things and test stuff to see like, well, maybe there's a specific thing that if you turn that up, you, you see a big hit, then you know it's like, oh, maybe it's just the shadows that are, you know, screwing with me a little bit. Um, so you can always, you know, tweak your video settings as well. Not only that, we've added the foliage loading distance in there as well. So you've got a little bit more tweakability here um, to try and find the, the best performance for you. If you're running into any D3D12 crashes, um, important things to try there is update your graphics card drivers, but also you can try and consider running Vulkan instead of DirectX 12. You can either switch that in the video options menu or you can force them using launch commands, which is dash DX12 for DirectX 12 and dash Vulkan for Vulkan. The launch commands are also helpful to know in case uh, your game is crashing when switching these APIs and no longer opens because you're on an unsupported one. So you can use these launch commands to get around that. As an absolute last resort, if nothing else is working and you're still getting low performance, you can also st still try and use DirectX 11. Now we're deprecating DirectX 11. You can no longer choose it from the video options menu, but it is still technically supported. And the way you can access DirectX 11 is by using the dash DX 11 uh, launch command. Okay, so you can still do that. And when using DirectX 11, it will hard dis disable things like Nanite and Lumen, um, which, you know, those things sort of eat into your, your VRAM. However, because we're not really, you know, we're sort of deprecating DirectX 11, we're not really supporting it completely anymore. We can't really promise decent performance or quality in general, but if you've tried everything else, this is a decent last resort. You can just try out and see if it helps you. Okay, so those are the troubleshooting things that I wanted to talk about. One other thing that some people may have spotted is that there's actually a run hardware benchmark feature in the video options menu. And the purpose of this is that you can run a benchmark, it'll check your your hardware, and then it'll like set the settings to something that makes sense for your hardware so that you should get good performance. However, right now as it is, that is actually not done and doesn't really yield any sort of meaningful results right now. But the goal is to have that actually functioning correctly so that, you know, if you're not really sure what you should do with your settings, you'll be able to just run the benchmark and you'll hopefully be getting some settings that make some sense for your hardware. And so lastly, what I want to talk about here today is going to be the updated hardware requirements. As I said earlier, we've talked about this in previous videos before that we're uh, changing the minimum spec hardware requirements. And the one thing that I want to talk about specifically is the GPU. Uh, we are upping the GPU from the GTX 770 uh, and what we said in the previous video was to the GTX 1650. Now I think this set some incorrect expectations when we said this um, and I think it's I think largely because first of all one it is a better GPU the, the new minimum so that's true and that's fair and so I can understand that if some people aren't really happy with that minimum going up right uh, having said that though the jump from like 770 to 1650 in version numbers sounds really, really huge. However, the 1650 is not a super performant or high-end card, uh, and it's actually not that much better than the 770. And so what we want to do is um, sort of like have some newly defined requirements here, which should hopefully set the correct expectations. And you can let us know if you are happy with those expectations or not, but at least we're more correctly defining uh, what it is you kind of need in order to run uh, satisfactory moving forward. Uh, so the newly defined requirements are as follows. Uh, NVIDIA GTX 1650 or GTX 1050 Ti or AMD RX 470 or RX 570 or some equivalent uh, GPU with, you know, with, with equivalent performance and VRAM. I know, it just rolls off the tongue. So just to give a rough idea of what that means is according to some benchmarks that we found online, and so you can do with that what you will, uh, but the 1650 is about 25% um, better or more performant than the um, GTX 770, which is the pre-update eight minimum requirement. 
and the RX 470 is 16% better. And the 1050 Ti is actually 16% less performant, but it has more VRAM. And again, as we've talked about in this video, VRAM is the thing that you need uh, for the game at this point. Um, so that's why the 1050 Ti should probably also be okay. And one thing to mention, I think here is also like, it was kind of tricky, like, well, what is the minimum requirements supposed to be? Do you need like these hardware or, or else the game doesn't run at all? And that's not really sort of like what we might mean by minimum because we've seen people play with integrated cards before when like our minimum spec was a dedicated card. Um, but the thing is their results vary wildly from not being able to play at all or, you know, abysmal FPS. It's the same kind of thing here. Our, what our minimum specifications sort of like aim for is the minimum required specifications to be able to play satisfactory, like meaningfully, whatever that means, okay? Not like the bare minimum to get it to launch. We think that's not really fair to, to, to specify that as minimum, okay? So that's what that sort of means. Yeah, and so the main thing that was lacking in our pre-update eight requirements was the VRAM that was previously at two gigabytes. And so that's like the major thing that we're, we're upping the minimum specs for, okay? Now, having said that, we do intend on optimized things moving forward. So we're not like done working on that. Uh, we do want to make it better. We do want to like make the game use less VRAM. So that's still a process that we're we're, we're working on as well. But um, yeah, anyway, hopefully these newly sort of like expanded upon uh, hardware requirements help help set expectations a little bit better for you. So that's all that I wanted to talk about today. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, keep coming with the um, bug posts and feedback on the QA site, questions on satisfactorygame.com. Keep letting us know what's going on. The team is still reading and we're still patching and doing what we can, okay? Thank you all so much for watching the video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave a like and take care. Have a lovely weekend. Bye everyone. Had to pause for a second there because usually I'm like, I'll see you next time, but maybe I won't. I think this might be my last Friday video. So if you made it to the end here, the post credits Marvel ending, just want to say bye and thanks. I'll miss you. Take care. You're in good hands. Everything's going to be fine. Take care. Bye. Okay. Vamanos. Shit. <laughs> <laughs>